Imo State Governor Hope Uzodema has asked security operatives to stay alert and resist attacks of bandits ravaging the state and take the fight to them. The governor who urged the policemen not to spare any bandits and other criminals in the fight against insecurity said, Do not allow bandits to kill you in your stations. Take the fight to them and defeat them. Uyodima spoke while on a condolence visit to the headquarters of the State Police Command in Oweri on Tuesday. He asked policemen to go after the bandits before they get to them. He said, you are the only ones constitutionally empowered to carry a gun. And then you allow somebody called bandits who is not licensed to carry a gun to come to your station and kill you. Kill them before they come near to kill you, he said. Uzadema also promised that his administration would introduce an insurance policy for all the security operatives serving in the state. The governor disclosed that his government was arranging a welfare package to compensate all the family members of those who died during the chaos in the state. He also praised the State Commissioner of Police, Abu Tuyaru, for improving the security situation in the state in the past six weeks and gifted the command six operational vehicles. According to the police commissioner, Uzadema is the only governor to have paid the police such a condolence visit. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Uzadema pays the state police a condolence visit, made promises to, uh, you know, compensate them and, um, you know, charge them to take the battle to the bandits out there and uh, flush them out. The question is, why is Uzadema making promises yet? Why can he not, you know, conclude all the plans and, you know, reach out immediately as he has gone to pay the condolence visit? He's actually giving those people the actual gift that he wants to give them, rather than making promises that would not be, will not be fulfilled. These are part of the challenges that these people are facing. Take a, a look at Governor Yeson Wiki of River State. Once he makes a promise, he fulfills it. And immediately it happens, he goes there, he fulfills it, and off, that settles it, and that matter is foreclosed. But this is how many months after the uh, state headquarters was attacked in April. Two months or thereabout after. Three months, let's put it at three months. And the governor of Imo State is still making promises to the families that actually lost their breadwinners, as the case may be. It tells you that the man is just um, doing an open show and uh, performing an open show, or rather, and he's not ready to uh, commit himself to the needed uh, uh, responsibility that he needs to commit himself to. Tackling security in your state, says Homer, what happened to the various allocations you received and petitioned? Let's be sincere with ourselves. It's these same governors and politicians that empower those talks into causing mayhem in the society. So it is what it is. We know. We know all this. And it is even been alleged that the governor goes about with over 50 soldiers on a convoy. You can imagine. Just to protect the governor. That tells you that the man has failed in the area. You know, in, let, let's not just say in every area but especially in the area of security. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. As it is, the governor himself is even, is even afraid of the unknown gunmen as it were. Because if not, why is he going about with over 50 soldiers in his convoy? You can imagine. He tells you that the man does not uh, even trust the security agent, the police, as it is. And this, that is what these politicians do. They come out and say stuff that they probably do not um, 
know how to store, do not believe, do not agree with. But because of the office they hold and because they want to paint an image before the public, they come out and say all those stuff, but they don't agree with it, they don't follow such, and they don't do it. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, though, but, you know, this is what I think and feel concerning this particular situation and this issue. The man should rise up and face the reality today. Uzadima is not um, in a good position or probably in a good frame of mind to address the security challenges in the state, and that is just the truth of the matter. He is not in the good frame of mind. He is not, you know, soundly equipped to address the issues that are facing the state. I'm not sure he envisaged that he is going to be uh, winning an election or he's going to be um, dealing with such a uh, level of insecurity. And probably for that reason, he has no clear-cut definition or idea on how to go about it, despite the resources available to him. Then it tells you that these guys do not, does not know what they are doing. They are just out there to follow what, um, to follow what, just to make a name for themselves and, uh, you know, uh, steal money. At the end of the day, that is what I believe it is. If not, what exactly is Hopus Odema doing in governance if he does not know what he is doing? So it is sad and unfortunate that that is the situation of things. That is the situation of things in the state. We hope that you know things get better, that the security situation is improved or else it's going to be serious chaos, or else it's going to be serious challenge, or else it's going to be a very, 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 very on, um, a challenging period that the states would be facing as time goes on. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. Imo State needs to um, charge their governor to rise up to the challenges of the states uh, presently and currently and do something about it. He has the resources, he has the uh, manpower, and he, if he does not have the ideas, there are people around him who has ideas. He should borrow the ideas and ensure that the state is returned to the peaceful uh, uh, mode that he met it when he came into office. Because from the look of things, he seems to be the bad luck that the people of the state are experiencing. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.